Uh, which brings us to Gutenberg. When we were looking at this, uh, you know, almost a year ago, uh, a lot of questions popped up right at the beginning. You know, as I'm sure uh, you all facing the same things. You know, is it going to work out of the box? It's a plugin. Intuition says probably not, but we've come to expect a pretty low barrier to entry for plugins and new integrations. Uh, if it doesn't work out of the box, is that because of some custom code we've done? Spoiler alert again, yes. Uh, but will that lead to massive rewrites? What's the hurdle there? What's the level of effort? Uh, you know, what are we getting ourselves into? Uh, beyond that, once we get it working, how do we introduce it to the newsroom? Um, I'm very intrigued in the RAMP plugin. I'm happy to hear about that. Uh, so we've been, done, we've been you know, trying to figure out ourselves how to stand up these two things at the same time, how to train the editors, how to move them over. You know, it's a small team, which means they're flexible, but it's a small team, which means they don't have a lot of time to play with things. You know, always important for us when we're working with a single developer, how do we best use his time? How do we not you know, spend the next six months just playing with Gutenberg and trying to make it work? Um, and lastly, I put it up there because this is a question we actually asked ourselves out loud at the beginning of every Denver. Is this worth it? Is this going to be worth the effort? Um, and the strong voice from the editorial side and the tech side said yes, 